Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, today we are doing something different, and Andrew's so excited about it. I, I, I'm not, not excited, it's just not something I've ever done, so it's I know, it's scary. So I've been seeing on YouTube um, couples doing these question thingies where they have like a list of questions and they go through them and they have to answer them. And some of them are like, where like, I'll answer a question about you and you'll answer a question about me. And some are like questions that would both maybe answer at the same time because it's like only one answer. Oh, like those things like, who's the better kisser? Yeah, something like that. I don't, just to preface, I don't know what these questions are. Sarah wrote yeah, them Yeah, so. well, I found them on the internet. So. It's ought to be fun. But I was able to brainstorm about them a little bit more than you. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to react on the yes. spot. So this is going to be crazy. Okay, the first question is one that we can both answer about one another. And that is, what was your first impression of me and my first impression of you? You can go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you for allowing me this honor. You're welcome. First impression of you. Yeah. <sighs> well, like, it's kind of weird because our, you know, my, our first impression, you know, our first interaction, I guess, was oh, no. when you played a trick on me. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I made a post on Facebook and I was like, oh, I'm bored, you know, text me. And Sarah, who does that? That is such a weird thing to do. Why yeah, were you I, doing I mean, that? I was a kid. I mean, I was like 18 at the time. Yeah, so. that's so funny. And um, um, you and Tori texted me. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even like friends with Tori at the time. I don't know. I don't know how you guys saw it, but um, you ended up texting me and pretended to be some person with some really weird name and, and pretended that we had met at a at a concert and I'm like oh my god who is this person and I don't believe them but they sound kind of cool like you know if they're you gonna go I through was cool well like I'm like oh they could be pretty chill you know if they're going through all this effort to try to trick me and make me believe that I had met them like I clearly knew that we had never met but um wow. I was like oh this is really interesting you know they could be kind of fun to hang out with and stuff um yeah, wow. I guess that was my first impression of you. Like I, I didn't cool. know. Well, I didn't know you at all, and you were just giving me complete false information about who <laughs> you were. But I'm like, oh, you know, they they went through the effort to actually like text me and like try to come up with this elaborate scheme, and I'm like, oh, that you know, they could be a fun person. Yeah, so I guess I that's kind of like my first impression of you. Wow, I don't remember like in that time period, I don't remember what I thought about you at all, really, except for when I first, like, started talking, talking to you seriously, like, when, when we were texting, happen? like, when we met, <laughs> we, <laughs> we met at my, like, I invited you over with our friend, some other friends, I invited you over our house, and then after that, we started, I think it was around New Year's that we did that. It wasn't on New Year's, but it was no, around New Year's. No, it was Year's. like, yeah, it was like in December or something, like yeah. early December, if I remember correctly. And I invited you over, and the thing that I remember most about you is that you were super funny. I thought you were I'm, funny. But obviously, I, I still the think shoe you're fits. Funny. Yeah. I'm so a very hilarious I person. But I mean, yours is better because you thought I was cool. I wow. I, was cool, so. I mean, yeah. I <laughs> oh, man. Next question. Oh, what was our first date? Our first date. <laughs> I remember. Uh -oh. oh boy, we're in trouble, guys. Um, I mean, like, are we talking like the first, like, I guess, official date? I guess, yeah. I don't know. The one, there's guess, a one like, the specific first... time that I have in mind. The one, the and first thing. And if you don't get it right, then you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I'm gonna lose. I, I'm probably not gonna get this right. But I don't know, like, I guess the first thing that I would consider our first date, which was kind of weird because, like, we weren't even alone, was when we went ice skating. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we went ice skating. We went to dinner with your sister. Becky was there. Was Katie there? I can't yeah, remember. I think it was Becky and it was her friend Quinn. Quinn? Yeah. Becky and Quinn. We went ice skating. We, and we went ice Buffalo. skating. Yeah, and then we went to Julie's. We yeah, went we to went Julie's, to Julie's first, right? Or no, after, after. I think after. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember. I remember. My first experience in Buffalo driving, and Buffalo's That it's was a your city. first experience driving in Buffalo? I'm trying to think. I think it was, because at that point I had not transferred to Canisius and we hadn't started dating, mm -hmm. so there's no reason for me to go to Buffalo. I'd never been to Buffalo before, and it's not like some major crazy city like New York City, but like, 
first time going to Buffalo, you know, it was kind of scary. And I remember we went downtown <laughs> where everybody was at, and like we had to park kind of far away, and I was so lost trying to get to and from the Aww. ice skating rink, you know, to where our car was. And I was so confused, and now thinking about it, I'm like, how could I have gotten lost? Because, like, I know downtown, like, the back of my hand now, and it's just so funny, like, but that, that's the thing that sticks out to me the most that night. Like, I was so yeah. confused. I'm like, what is what direction? <laughs> where are we? Like, what are we doing? And obviously, ice skating and falling on my Had you been foot. ice skating before? I don't think so. I'm pretty really? sure that was the first time I ever went ice skating, too. I mean, it's not like I went ice skating all the time, but I had definitely gone before that. Yeah, and neither of us were good at, at ice skating. We're still not. Yeah, we're, we're still not good. <laughs> I need to lotion my hands. Blooper! Who is more outgoing in general? Me. Yeah, definitely. Obviously yeah. me. <laughs> like, he's, That's not even a question. I'm, I'm Okay, I can be like hyper and excited when I'm around my friends. I don't know if that is, does that mean outgoing? I don't know. I, I guess not, it like, depends on how you define it. I would yeah. say probably not. No, it's I'm not like the same shy thing. and I like I'm scared to do things whereas you I am even scared. If you're scared you just do them anyways mm -hmm. and you just go for it. Yeah. I think. I would definitely say I'm more outgoing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Which of my hobbies do you find least interesting? Which of uh, your hobbies? No yeah. Like what things that I like to do do you find least interesting? Which of the things that you do do I find least interesting? I mean, I wouldn't say you necessarily have a lot of hobbies, but I guess decorating? Is that a hobby? I don't know. Like, I hate, I can't stand decorating. Why? I, I decorating isn't decorating. a hobby. I wouldn't say decorating is a hobby, but it's something I enjoy doing on every season. Like I, That sounds like a hobby because you're like <laughs> always decorating everything. I don't know. Um, that, 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 that's not a hobby. I think it's hmm. interesting. Hobbies. What, what are, like, you really don't do anything. Like, all, all I, you ever do is, Okay, like, my hobbies are filming. Yeah, blogging. Yeah, doing that kind of stuff. The, the food blogs so of making food and recipes and baking. I that's mean, I'm not hobby. particularly interested doing in Doing outdoors, your like, things outside, like hiking. That's a hobby. Yeah. Learning about anthropology. I mean, they are hobbies, but like you don't do hobbies? that much. Yeah, you, I mean, a hobby. Does a hobby have to be something you do all the time? Like you don't have time necessarily to do your hobbies all. Well, the I know time. what I'm saying. Like you don't have any time. Like you're always either if you're if you're not working, then you're normally doing your blogging stuff. Yeah, but that's which funny. I'm not particularly interested in in your blogging. I guess I could say that. Like I just blogging isn't really like my forte. Yeah. Like I don't mind being a part of the blog and everything, but like you really get into like editing the videos yeah. and stuff and like that's like a task that like thinking about it just makes me dread. Really? That task. Like, I can't I love like I just videos. like for me it's just like I think part of it's like I hate listening to myself. Oh, I don't like over listening to myself and either. Over and over like I I sit there and listen <laughs> to you editing the video and I'm like Gosh, how can she just listen to us saying the same thing over and over and over again? And I'm just like, I don't know, I guess that's something I that know. I don't particularly enjoy. I think it's, I don't know, I like to edit the videos because I find it fascinating to learn how to use, because I don't know how to use most of the stuff on Pre Adobe Premiere Pro. Mm -hmm. So like, I it's kind of like challenging, I guess, and interesting to learn how to, and I get so excited when I learn how to do something new. Mm -hmm. but I don't know, I like it. Yeah. But... For me, I think you know what the <laughs> answer is. The hobby that say. Andrew has that I do not enjoy is video games. Most mainly, okay, watch or playing video games, playing Overwatch, or watching the people on the TV play video games. That's very weird. You don't like it that I watch people. It's not that video I don't games. like it. It's just I find it boring. Oh well, yeah. You don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, so there there you go. Like, Sarah really enjoys making these lifestyle blogs and, like, you know, things that we're doing every day. And, like, when we go on adventure, she enjoys filming, all that stuff. I find that boring. I don't, I don't particularly enjoy to watch other people doing stuff like that. I don't think that's entertaining. I like to watch people playing video games, and you hate that. Yeah. So it's, it's just funny. Like, I would probably enjoy making videos if it was, like, about me video playing games. video games or something. Like, I'd probably enjoy something like that. Streamer! But, yeah, right. Um, but anyways, like, yeah, I get that. I know you don't I like know. 
like my video games. I know that sometimes I get a little <laughs> rough. Well, he gets kind of like angry and yelling at the TV. I and like, do not. What is the, how is that fun if you're angry yelling at the TV, yelling at the other players? Or like, you're still trying to win, still trying to climb and stuff. I don't yeah. know. It's still entertaining. It's still fun to do. It's fun when you win. It's really fun when you absolutely, you know, just win and there's no competition. No, if there's no competition, then it's not fun, but... Alright, I digress. <laughs> Maybe we should move on. Do... Okay. Do I often make you angry? I would never make anyone angry. I don't think I'd say often. But occasionally. Yeah. I wouldn't say often, though. Yeah, I wouldn't say you often make me angry either. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like, I feel like, I mean, we fight like normal people, I feel like. We don't fight. There's <laughs> no fighting fight. in this relationship <laughs> at all. Never fought. We fight like normal people. <laughs> I don't know, a normal relationship amount, I feel like. I, I, don't I, know. I Honestly, I don't I think don't we've been fighting a lot people. lately. I feel like we go through periods of time, like, <laughs> where, like, I'll get, like, really annoyed with you about little stupid things. Oh, you things. let everything boil up, yeah. and then you blow your gas. I don't know. Up. Lately, I haven't been getting angry at you at all, like, for the past few months, I feel like. <laughs> Marriage solved it. <laughs> that's it. We got married a few months ago, and we haven't fought since. Yeah. That's, that's Actually, it. I don't think we have, have we? No, we remember. haven't really been fighting at all. I mean, yeah. not, it's not like, I wouldn't say we ever fought... Consistently. Yeah, but, but like there's things that annoy me and I'll tell you. Yeah. I'm angry at you. Yeah. See, like, and that's the thing, like, I don't. I guess that's the thing, like, you, the things you do don't annoy me. Like, well, the only I don't time. Ever yeah. Get angry at you. When I get angry at you, it's usually because you've said something, like, you. Because sometimes you say stuff that seems kind of rude to other oh, people. Oh, yeah. And I don't think you mean to be rude. You don't realize it, but you say it. And so I get really frustrated with you because I try to tell you not to act like that to other yeah. people. And you don't, like, you you slip up or something. And so I'll get, like, frustrated with you. But I think that's the time I'm usually, uh, my anger towards you stems from stuff like that. But I don't So know. what you're saying is I've been better about it lately. You have. What is one thing, what do you think is the thing that I dislike most in the entire world? That you dislike, that I dislike the most? What do you think I dislike the most? It doesn't have to be about a relationship, just like in general. Something you dislike the most in the entire world. I don't even know. Are we talking about like... Anything. Anything that comes to your mind. Oh, shellfish. <laughs> you, you definitely dislike shellfish. That's, that is that is a good answer. I have an allergy to shellfish, which I have anxiety about. So. Literally, like today for dinner. <laughs> Okay, we, we went to the store to get ingredients and she wanted to make um, some egg roll things and she was making a sauce for it. Yeah. And one of the sauces, it, it required a Thai sweet chili it sauce. It was just a chili, a sweet chili sauce. So like you would assume that that would be vegetarian. <laughs> and like, I don't, I don't know what made me look at the ingredients list, but I'm glad I did because there was like oyster extract in it and it wasn't even bolded. Like usually like seafood is an allergy so it will be bolded bolded at the bottom like mm. may contain crustaceans yeah. or shellfish. It wasn't. It could have killed me. I could have brought that home and put it in my little um sauce and then died. Well see like this is why like I say she's most disgusted <laughs> by because not only I'm that, but she had anxiety about yeah. that all evening, and it she was, was scared to eat well, the like, food just that think we bought. About it. Even like, though we didn't buy that sauce, we bought scary. like another sauce after reading the ingredients and making sure there was no so oysters scary. in it. So scary. I know, like yeah. you don't. I think a lot of people don't under. Well, I mean, I have anxiety, but also like when you have a food allergy like that, where you can die if you eat it, like it's so scary. I don't know. For I would people. imagine. And that's a good answer. It's a good answer. Also, public speaking, that's something I hate the most in the world. That's another good thing. That is another thing. For you, I don't know what you hate the most. Oh, I know! You hate noises! Oh. He hates noise, like anything loud. Like, if he will not go <laughs> to not a concert. Noise, no, like yeah, that. like, if he, like, loud places that are, like, really loud, or places with a lot of people. You don't like crowds of people. Or just like sudden loud noises. Like, <laughs> or sudden like if Sarah drops a pan or something, like that like, will. Oh my god! I, I, I will freak out. Like, yeah. I can't stand it. It's Father's so name. weird. It's almost like, I don't know. The thing I would have said would have been olives. I absolutely <laughs> despise yeah, you don't like olives. olives. Ugh. I don't love olives, but I do enjoy it. Like, I'll eat the black ones, just like plain, like generic black olives. 
but they're not my favorite. But yeah, he hates olives. I just despise He also hates them. mushrooms. I don't care for mushrooms. I can't eat mushrooms and various things. I can't eat olives. I, I've tried numerous times, and like I will have to pick the olives out. There's no way. It's not happening. They're not that bad. They're gross. Oh. All right, what's next? This one we should answer at the same time. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to answer this at the same oh, time. Oh, no, I don't like the idea If our this. house was on fire and we could only save one thing from this house, what would it be? Oh, come okay, on. Can I do one, two, three? Yeah. One, two, three. Sprinkles. sprinkles. <gasps> I did it! Good job! I mean, how am I not going to save the cat? But I'll be honest with you. I'll have sprinkles in one arm and I'll be grabbing something else in my yeah. other arm. Yeah, I don't know what I would. I don't know, like an in like a just an inanimate object, what it would be. Maybe I mean, I camera. would also hope that maybe <laughs> Sprinkles could just escape on her own, so I could grab two things. <laughs> well, I mean, it's true. Sprinkles. I mean, she run around. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't take the cat. I'm looking around. <laughs> I'm looking around the room right now to see if there's something that I think is I valuable. I think enough. I would probably take my camera or the computer or something if I had it in arm's reach. Otherwise, I don't know yeah. what I would really take. The expensive equipment with like all the, sh the storage, all the yeah. videos and yeah. all the stuff you've done. On good, to the next This is one. a good question. If you could do anything for work and not worry about money, what would you do? I'm sorry, say that again? If you could do anything for work and you didn't have to worry about money, money wasn't like a thing, what would you do? I mean, I don't know what specific job I would do, but I would probably try to do something so like i would really love to be like a streamer and play video games all day for my job that'd be great i love playing video games i could definitely do that but at the same time like i don't know if that would be like i don't know how good i would be at it and like if that would turn out to be a good profession i know money isn't a question but like i don't know if it would be a good match for me but something that i could see myself doing is like something related to <laughs> Yeah, there's something flying there's around my face. Sorry. Um, you know, something more you know related to what I went to school for. Like I could. What are you doing? I'm trying to get it. You're ruining my shot. Sorry. Oh, Catch. Go on. Now it's gonna float back up. Anyways, um, something more aligned with what I went to school for. You know, if I could do anything, if money wasn't a question, then I could do all the internships and stuff that are out there. That's the biggest problem. Like I can't get into the field because I don't have a lot of experience. There's a lot of experience to be had through internships and stuff that aren't paid. So if I had, you know, if I didn't have to worry about money, I could go and do all these internships and, and get all this different experience and figure out what exactly I'd want to do and be able to do that. That'd be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. I think for me, it'd be one of two things or like I could combine the two things. Like I really do like making videos and like filming things and I'd like to learn more about that and have like nicer equipment and be able to make really cool videos. But I also would definitely want to get into like wildlife biology and being like a wildlife a conservationist and also like maybe incorporate um, making videos, YouTube videos into that and like educating people about cool wildlife things. I don't know. I think you could have a channel fun. about that. Yeah, you that could probably so do cool. both. Like if that was your full-time job, you could yeah. probably have, you know, that could be, you know, maybe your primary one would be your food blog, and then your you could have a secondary channel where you're, you do conservation stuff. Yeah, it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we're at the last question, I think. Okay. Where in the world would you most like to visit? I thought you were going to say his wall, though. Okay, where, okay well, let's, let's amp up this question. Where in the world would you most like to visit, and where in the world would you most like to live? Hmm. Where do I want to visit? I guess probably like the number one place I would really like to visit, I think, is Japan. Like I really like Japan. I like the culture. I like a lot of stuff, you know, that comes out of Japan. Um, you know, like I'm really big into like anime. I don't know, maybe not really big, but I really enjoy anime. And also um, kind of like a lot of technology and stuff like that and I think like they're pretty advanced and a lot of stuff coming out of there and I just really would love to go and visit Japan it just looks awesome um, as to where I'd want to live I mean probably in like 
Australia or New Zealand or something. And yeah, we visited there, you know, a few years ago we were able to go and study abroad there and really enjoyed it. So I'd probably really enjoy living there. I think for me, where I want to visit, I definitely, I've really been wanting to go to Switzerland <laughs> because <laughs> I love the mountains and I love the snow and it's just so pretty and like the cute little towns and then the little cows on the, on the mountains with the bells. I didn't know there was cows yeah. on the mountains with bells. Yeah, and I, I really want to go there. I love the mountains. Um, and if I could live anywhere in the world, it would definitely, excuse me, if you, it would definitely be somewhere in Europe. I, I mean, you know this. It's, yeah, I, knew this I was love, coming. like, I love the Netherlands. I love, like, Scandinavian countries as well. So, um, definitely somewhere around there. So maybe what like. What about Oxford? I do love, I lo England. love England. Yeah. But I know that in Holland, like, they have a, like, there's a lot of benefits to living in, well, not just Holland, in the Netherlands. So. I don't know, like especially like family benefits that they don't have in the UK. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, so I, I would probably choose the Netherlands, and someday I will own a little cabin in little the Netherlands, cottage. a little cottage. I a guess cottage. is the right word, but like mm -hmm. a small little vacation house in the Netherlands or nearby that vicinity. <laughs> like Sweden. Sweden. Like <laughs> northern Sweden. Sweden. Yeah, pretty close. They're the same thing. That was it. Okay. <laughs> so we made it through our first questionnaire video. Was yeah. That wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. But it, it was going to so be bad. much more difficult. <laughs> it wasn't so difficult. Much more scary. Yeah. yeah, we hope you guys found this somewhat interesting. Learned a little bit about us. Um, we had fun, I think. It was mm -hmm. kind of fun. Um, Feel free to answer the questions below. Yeah, you should. What questions? Well, the questions we answered. Oh, <laughs> about yourselves. Yeah. I was like, are we asking them questions? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah obviously. You know. Answer these questions below, and if we will write back to you. <laughs> okay, we're going to go. We have to get ready, because we're going to Toronto tomorrow. What? What? Are we not going? No, we are. We're going. Don't worry, guys. I got my COVID test, and it was negative. I That's got good. my results. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we will end this vlog here, and I hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this, and if you like our videos, please um, like them. <laughs> like, subscribe, hit the little bell for the alerts. Yes, I still don't know where the bell is, but you should like the it's bell. It's below the video. Oh. It's next to the like the subscribe button Okay. somewhere. I think, bell. Have, I think you have to be subscribed. Do, to do the, the bell, bell and do the like and do the subscribe. And we will appreciate it very, very much. Toodles. Bye.